So FIFA 18 is out, unless you're a bit of a peasant and having to wait until Friday. Joke's on you boys. Anyway, the first couple of days and weeks in FIFA are always completely nuts. Everyone is really expensive, you're going to get tramped at every attempt you try to play in the game, and you're probably wondering who the hell you should be buying. Well, don't worry lads, because HITC Euro has got you covered with some pretty cheap beasts to help you through the first stages of the game on Ultimate Team. With that being said, I'm Graham from HITC Euro, and let's get on with this list. Number 1, Vincent Abubakar. Expect to see him in a lot of teams, especially if their gamer tag is something like XX Speed Demon 10 because this card looks fantastic. And from first hand knowledge, not that my gamer tag is that dodgy, I can let you know that he is very, very good for his price. So let's get on with the pros about this card. I managed to sign him for just 750 coins. That, for a six foot striker, with sprint speed, strength, dribbling, all in the 80s, oh, let's not forget the fact that he's got five star skill moves. What isn't there to love? With the way that the new dribbling edition works in FIFA 18, and the fact that Abubakar is a powerhouse, it makes him a right handful to deal with for opposition defenders. Typically, he's going for around a thousand coins, but on the web app, if you can snap him up in the 59th minute, you should be able to do so for very cheap. And now onto the cons. Well, his league might not be for everybody, but there is plenty of quality to build a decent and cheap team without any problems. And the other con is something that doesn't bother me too much, but could bother others. While he does have decent shot power, his finishing is only 74 so you might end up missing chances that you would think that you should normally be putting away. But still, for 750 coins on a buy now, what's not to love? Number 2, Charles Aranguiz. Now, you're going to have to wait until a new team of the week is out because this Chilean midfielder made it into the first week with a very good inform. If you're looking for somebody to pull the strings and for a cheap dead ball specialist in the Bundesliga, then look no further than this man. Now, he did get a downgrade from last year, which is fair, but he is still really, really good. So let's talk about those pros. There is a good thing that comes if you want to sign this in form. He's actually really, really cheap. In fact, you can get him for as little as 12,000 coins. And he is worth every single penny because his value should increase once he's out of packs. Now again, this is a personal preference because he was just so good for me on FIFA 17, but I had him taking all my free kicks and well, he was just fantastic, even with having just 82 free kicks. His range of passing is superb and he can easily play as a CDM, centre mid or a cam due to his great pace, dribbling and passing. His incredible shot power means that even though his free kicks and finishing aren't the best, his power allows him to score things you might not expect. And finally he has incredible ball control which is perfect to exploit the new mechanics. Now for a few cons. Defensively he's not great but he does have 72 standing tackle and despite having good stamina he isn't really a physical player. But you can counteract this by partnering with somebody like Gilavogi or Camacho because they are two beasts as well. And finally there is that price. I know we're looking at cheap beasts and you're thinking that an inform might be too much even though 12k isn't really anything. You should have no problem getting there though. If you're waiting around till this week his regular card will be back in packs and by that time you probably will have 12k anyway. Number 3 Jonathan Vieira. Now before the game officially comes out on Friday his price is a little inflated. However, for what you're getting, he actually looks really cheap at just under 3k. So let's talk about those pros. He did have a fantastic season last year and got an overall upgrade as well as adding 26 to his defending. While he is a centre mid by default, he is definitely more suited to playing as a playmaker or even a centre forward if you have some very good wingers in a false 9-4-3-3. He has 87 vision, 88 dribbling and 89 agility so he'll be difficult for players to deal with when he has the ball at his feet. Now for those cons. His work rates make him a really poor choice if you want to play him just as a centre mid, especially if you're playing with just two in the middle. High low is an absolute no-no if you're playing a centre mid. However, he could work in a three-man midfield, but that work rate just wouldn't cut it for me being in the midfield. He has to play as a cam or a centre forward, or maybe even a striker. Number four, Malang Sar. Time for a non-rare beast if you're really struggling for cash. And there is a lot of value for money in Liga this season, and this chap is a bit of a legend in career mode, and this is his first card on Ultimate Team. So if you need a powerful and very cheap centre-back, look no further. So his pros, well all these important stats are in the high to mid 70s, for a centre back is there anything else you really need to know? 
Standing tackle is 77, 79 composure, 80 stamina and 79 strength for just under a thousand coins is not bad at all. Cons? I mean, are there any? And number five, Andrea Cossigli. A really, really good goalkeeper for how much you're actually going to spend on him. You probably won't be able to afford Buffon or Donnarumma, and if you want to start out with a Serie A team, then Consigli is the way to go. So let's talk about those pros. He has 83 handling, 82 diving, 84 reflexes, and 81 positioning, which, I mean, is fantastic. And the fact that you get him for under a thousand coins is really, really great. He's also 6'2", which is really impressive for a keeper with such good reflexes. So again, there are no cons with this guy, just buy him. And that's our list. Let us know who you're going to be starting out with in FIFA 18 and let us know who your first purchase is going to be. If you like this video, then hit that like button and be sure to share it as well. And if you're new to our channel, why not consider hitting that subscribe button. And thanks again to everyone else who has already subscribed. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.